eight, nine. See, this is where we get to, like... He's got a pretty large channel, too. Don't throw away those mini blinds. <laughs> mini blinds? What? All right, let's... Okay. Yeah. Do one raw. I haven't seen this. Yeah. I don't know if this is going to be funny. Yeah, who knows? That's what we do on this show. We take risks. Yeah, this is we a risk. This, this, is, this is a serious risk. We'll see if this is uh, interesting at all. This is like slice of life. Yeah. From this valley, they say you are going. We will miss your bright eyes and your sweet smile. He's like, he's like, uh, like reading an obituary. It sounds like it. Yeah, right. I don't know, but his smile, dude, that is creepy. That it is smile. Yeah, he looks like a skeleton yeah. and missing a tooth. He's got like a Joker smile. He does. But he's safe but for the community. Oh, yeah. He got railroaded. Yeah. They say you are taking the But sunshine. if you do have like a, a horror dream about you getting molested, that would be the that guy. That would be the guy. Who molest you yeah. for sure. That has brightened our pathways for a while. Sing the song. From this valley, they say you are going. The Jesus. thing that's in a blind he has. The yeah, one yeah. single little blind of yeah, a yeah. huge thing. <laughs> yeah. Don't throw away those. So we're going to find out why we're not throwing those away. I don't know. I don't, so need, I don't even get this at all. I don't either, but it's intriguing. Yeah. <laughs> they say you it looks freaky. Are the uh, now he's using his sex toys on okay. the mini blind. Yeah. Scissors. This is what he would do to you, by the way, if you were tied up in his house. Yeah, right. He would play some freaky music and right. slowly cut blinds in front of your face <laughs> as you're sitting there naked, tied up behind the chair, like, oh my god, he's pouring acid into your brain. He's drilled a hole through your skull and dumped Clorox in it. And you're like, fuck, this guy's cutting a blind in front of me. Ah. <laughs> oh my god. That's exactly what would be oh, happening. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. This is the point. That's actually your point of view right here. Yeah, right. Exactly. It's a as POV you, video. You, yeah, you're in this chair like I am right now. With yeah. your hands tied behind your back. Yeah. A, a hole drilled in your skull. Yeah. Clorox being dumped in your brain and yeah. ammonia. And you're like, oh. Yeah. It's, how, it's like, really? I'm going to die like this? Yeah. Fuck. The way I, I've always wanted to go out. Yeah, yeah right. It's the getting, way he was. Getting tortured by <laughs> Edward Muscar. By my side if you love me. He would totally torture you like this. Yeah, he would. Really would. It reminds me of that scene in uh, what was that Tarantino movie, the uh, oh, Pulp Fiction. Yeah, it does. Where he's beating the fuck out of that guy. He's got that music on yeah, in the background. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah. But remember the Red River Valley <laughs> and the girls what is the point of this? There's got to be a point. I have no clue. Won't you think of the valley that you're leaving? Ooh. I love how his house is like pitch black in the middle of the day. I guarantee this is like the middle of the day. Yeah, probably. It's like pitch black yeah, in the background. Yeah, uh -huh, I can see that. Oh, how lonely. How sad it will be. I know. And just think of the fond heart. Well, you can tell that he has strong ge genetics in his lineage because his niece or nephew, whoever that was, yeah. they look very similar. You know? <laughs> yeah, you think yeah, so? Yeah, the genetics carry along the line. It could have been his niece or nephew. Yeah, it could have yeah. been. Don't really know. It was both. Yeah, but, but imagine being in his trailer because this just feels like seeing him, just this dude lives in a trailer. Oh, yeah. You know? Or a rundown hoarder house. Yeah, something yeah. like that, or both. Trailer. And the grief that you are causing to me. Is he getting like a sexual release from cutting the school blind? Seems like it. Because he looks like he's like getting off somehow. Yeah, there's something, uh, maybe that's why he did get rearrested. Is like there's something <laughs> creepily sexual about all this crap, you know? <laughs> they saw this video, they're like, just arrest him. Yeah, just arrest this fuck already. Make sure he dies in prison. <laughs> Sing this 
Tongue children. Yeah. Yeah. Putting a big fat sharp in his pee hole. He's sounding, he's sounding himself with a marker. Yeah, and he's putting like the colored in, in first. Yeah. You get all the ink in your juice. Yeah. Your juice inside your dick, you know? All right. Okay. Like, juice is that? All right. No? All right. You know? <laughs> that mascara, he's hot. Run, I'm actually like kind of falling into a trance. Yeah, I know. You know what I mean? He always he always makes that face. Yeah, he does. I love that good old music, don't you? Red River Valley, a song I wrote many many years ago. He wrote that. You're probably wondering what I was doing while that song was playing. Well, I was demonstrating what you could do with old mini blinds that you happen to have around the house. Don't throw them away. Use them. They're marvelous. For what? Yeah. Are you a gardener? Do you plant seeds in little pots? He does have a, he does have the face for radio. Like he has a good radio voice. He does have a good voice. Yeah, that's the thing. I feel like I would join. His cult, yeah, just based right. on his voice, yeah, right. it's hypnotic in a weird That's, way. This is how I would imagine most radio personalities look like. Yeah, yeah. They're hideous, yeah. but they have great voices. They're waterproof. They stick in the dirt firmly. They last sense. forever. Smart. Not only that. Actually, that's a great idea. Yeah, and see, to there was a whole, plant. there was a method to his madness. I, I agree with that. Yeah. It was good. You could mark your plants off like that. That's sure, smart. Yeah. But, Put them in corpses. Sound yourself with <laughs> sharp plastic. You ever come blood? I have. Oh, sweet. Yeah. I think you have actually. I think remember you had a, a urinary tract infection. Yeah, yeah. It'd be sweet if you had like everyone's car coming as a doctor. And he, was, and he like he like he slit the tip of your dick and like peeled your dick apart. To like look a banana. Into it. Like a banana and just looked into it. He's like, oh, it looks like you got an, a UTI. I, I've come from, I've come blood from jerking off too much. Let me put you that. Oh way. dear God. Yeah. Oh God. You got problems there, boy. <laughs> Dear God. <laughs> oh, man. The pieces that you cut off, they make wonderful toothpicks. Those They're firm. Teeth. What if his, uh, his nephew sold his I don't teeth? I have a toothpick. Yeah. We should buy him for the show and put him in a glass case. Yeah, I would love to have, like, a, we could put a yeah. little shelf up here and have his teeth in a jar. Right, that'd be sweet. And memory. Yeah. Memorial. It's amazing. I would come here one day and you'd be face fucking it though. Right. What you can do like... if you think, you know? You'd be standing on this chair, humping the shelf that's up here with his, <laughs> his teeth on it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> so I know. That is why you're missing it too, buddy. Yeah, I know. You, you shouldn't be shoving. Me. You shouldn't <laughs> be shoving sharp plastic in your mouth there, dude. <laughs> Dude, this is nightmare fuel. Yeah, it really is. That, that was is like nightmare a fuel. weird combination of like it's sweetness, but it's also nightmare fuel. Yeah, that really is nightmare fuel. 100%. So.